Okay, guys, in this tutorial, your PCA uh, ran into the problem and needs to restart. So the error code is uh, something like uh, it's a watchdog uh, violations. So let me zoom it a little bit. It is DPC watchdog violation. So if you guys are getting this error, uh, you can follow the steps in this tutorial to fix the issue. I hope one of the other steps helps you. If it uh, really helps you, you can share this video with your friends and family. So just run the system file checker, SFC slash scan now. So this process might take some time and let it finish and hope it uh, repair your computer. So all of you might not get this message, like there is a system repair pending, uh, you need to restart the computer and run this SFC slash scan now. So if this process might uh, take some time and when it is completed, uh, you are going to restart your computer and I hope uh, it fixes the issue. Sometimes if you get the message like this, you just restart your computer and then run this command once again and I hope it fixes the issue. You are going to choose command prompt and click on that. You're gonna choose the user account. So you might be having a multiple number of user in your computer. So you're gonna choose the user. Make sure you have a administrator privilege to the user. Enter the password if you have a password for your account and click on continue. And now here you have a command prompt. Okay guys, I hope command is visible. It will locate the bad sector and recover some of the files that is readable. So guys, you just have to press enter key after you type it correctly. Now you can see it is going on, everything is in process. Just give some time. Doing this might take a pretty long time. So just give some time. Finally, once you're done, you're going to press exit. So if it asks you for the, any kinds of permission in your computer, like yes or no, you're going to type Y for yes and then press enter key. So finally, it's all done. You're going to exit it. And now restart your computer. Go to troubleshoot. Let me restore. See, to use the system restore, you must specify which Windows installation to restore. Restart this computer and select an operating system and then select system restore. Click on close. Go to source and type update. Here you have Check for updates. Click on it. Are you going to type check for updates straightly? So when you type check for updates, you're going to see this window. What you're going to do is you can download and install the updates or you can just check for the updates. It will check for all the necessary updates. Finally, you can see it is downloading and installing and then after you can restart your PC. Don't forget to restart for the changes to take effect. So this will fix your issue. It's a some you can see this one is completed manually. Just download and install. If any options over here, it is a manually to download and install. You have to download and install manually, and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So this should fix your issue. Go to troubleshoot system image recovery. See nothing. Click on cancel. Click on cancel. Now I'll use this pen drive. It's a bootable Windows 11 USB flash drive. Go to troubleshoot system image recovery. Still, Windows could not find any system image on this computer. Retry, retry, no help. Click on next. Go to the advanced option. You can install driver or search for the system image on a network. Click on yes.
It is asking me for the network folder, but I do not have any network folder. So when you have in a network, you have saved your folder anywhere, you can get it from the network. So I do not have any options over here other than cancel. You're just going to choose. It's a troubleshoot. And here you have uh, reset this PC. Let's click on that. Keep my files or remove everything. If you want to keep your personal files, choose the first option and enter. Okay, guys, this will restart your PC. And after restarting, this is what you get. So it's going to take some time to get ready. And finally, you have this space. So reset this PC. Yeah, I currently I have a multiple number of account. So you're going to choose your account. One you use to log in your PC. So if it is password protected, you have to enter the password and click on continue. If it is not password protected, just directly click on continue. Now, once you click on continue, this is what you get. Resetting this PC, getting the things ready. So give us some time and it will get all the things ready. Okay guys, now here it is. Once, it's, once uh, it gets ready, click on reset. You know, this might take several minutes and we are all done. Your piece will be all the way ready to use. So finally, here is your PC, all the way ready to use.